Tapos meron tayong cost flow. Ang cost flow, kung paano dumadaloy yung costs sa ating production. To start tayo with the three manufacturing costs. Ang tatlong manufacturing costs natin, we have direct labor, direct materials, saka manufacturing overhead. Kapag pinagsama-sama mo yung tatlo, papunta ka sa work in process inventory. And then, or papunta ka sa work in process. After mo sa work in process, sunod ka na agad sa finished goods. And then, finished goods, cost of goods sold na. That's the cost flow. Tapos, uh, ito na. Dito na tayo sa components ng inventory account ng isang manufacturer. So, dito tayo sa raw materials inventory. Paano natin malalaman yung um, ending balance niya? So, start tayo with the beginning balance and adding the net purchases doon sa beginning balance natin. Kapag sinabi natin beginning balance ng raw materials, ito yung mga hindi pa natin nagamit from the last operations or from the last period or kunyari last year diba meron ka ng project, production process tapos may mga natira pang raw materials so ito na yung beginning balance mo the following year tapos mag add ka ng raw materials purchased yun nga kasama lahat ng purchases mo the freight in the purchase discounts purchase returns and allowances tapos yun na yung net purchases mo ang credit lang dito sa raw materials inventory na nakakapagpabawas doon sa ating raw materials ay yung mga materials issued to production. etong materials issued to production na to, yung ginamit para doon sa mga products na nasa process na. When we say naman work in process inventory, magsastart ulit tayo doon sa beginning balance. Ang beginning balance naman ng work in process inventory eh yung mga products na hindi natapos gawin last year. Or probably matapos pa siya this year or next year. Pero under pa din siya ng work in process. So, nandito siya sa beginning balance natin. And then, ia-add natin yung direct materials used or issued to production. Debit na to. Tapos, ia-add din yung labor incurred direct labor na nagamit sa pag-produce tapos manufacturing overhead costs idadagdag din siya sa work in process inventory and ang credit nito is the cost of goods manufactured tapos ah uh, malalaman na yung ending balance ang cost of goods manufactured ibig sabihin ito yung mga 100% na na-completed ng mga products. Kaya ibabawas na siya sa work in process inventory kasi tapos na sila. Tapos we have the finished goods inventory. Yung finished goods inventory naman, meron din siyang beginning balance. So, obviously, ang beginning balance natin are those finished goods from the previous year din. Tapos, na hindi pa nabebenta, no? Add the cost of goods manufactured na binawas natin sa ano, work in process, no? I-add na natin siya sa finished goods kasi nga, tapos na sila. Tapos, ang ibabawas dito, ang nakakredit kay finished goods inventory is the cost of goods sold. Yung cost of goods sold, ito na yung mga nabenta na finished goods. Kaya, ibabawas mo na siya sa inventory mo dahil wala na sila dito sa assets. Expense na sila. yon yung ending balance ng finished goods natin, ito yung mga goods available for sale or yung hindi pa nabebenta. Ayun, paano nga ba computein yung cost of goods sold? So, magkaiba pa rin po ang pag-compute ng cost of goods sold natin kay merchandising and manufacturing business. So, mag-start tayo with the cost of goods sold statement ng ating manufacturing business since ito yung focus natin sa cost accounting. First, we'll uh, start with the raw materials inventory at the beginning. Add net purchases. Ang net purchases, ang laman niya, purchases, um, freight in, pur purchase discounts, purchase returns, and allowances. After natin doon, malalaman natin is available for use. After 
raw materials available for use and then we will deduct the raw materials inventory at the end at saka yung direct or yung indirect materials used in order for us to get the raw materials or the direct materials issued to production or the direct materials used kasi kapag din natin dinedock yung indirect materials hindi po raw materials lang na direct na ginamit sa production yung makukuha natin so doon tayo sa direct materials used add direct labor add the manufacturing overhead costs and yung tatlo na yun i-add na natin para makuha natin yung manufacturing cost or the total manufacturing cost or production cost. Pagkatapos, i-add si work in process at the beginning para makuha natin yung total goods na nalagay sa process or total goods put into process less the work in process inventory at the end para makuha natin yung total goods manufactured. Kapag nakuha na natin yung cost of goods manufactured, i-add natin ulit si finished goods inventory beginning para makuha naman natin yung mga goods na available for sale or cost of goods available for sale less the finished goods inventory at the end and yun na po ang cost of goods sold. So, ganun siya. Mahaba pero kaya naman. Pag merchandise inventory, paano? Or merchandise business? First, start tayo with the merchandise inventory at the beginning of the period. Add the net purchases then, including the purchases, the freight in, the purchase discounts, purchase returns, and allowances. And then, yun na yung cost of goods available for sale. And then, less the merchandise inventory at the end of the period para makuha yung cost of goods sold. So, that's how different they are. Sobrang uh, sobrang haba ng process kasi ni manufacturing since meron tayong production process. Kaya, ganun. Pero, teka lang muna. Paano ba tayo magagawa ng income statement ngayon? So, ang income statement po ng merchandising manufacturing business, iisa lang siya. Mag-start tayo with the net sales. Tapos, isusubtract natin si cost of goods sold. Kasi, kaso nga lang, si, ano, si service, wala siyang cost of goods sold. So, Manufacturing and Merchandising, meron sila. Cost of goods sold, para makuha natin si gross profit. When we are already done with the gross profit, we will also deduct the operating expenses or the uh, period costs natin, including the administrative at saka yung selling expenses natin, para makuha na natin yung net profit natin. When we say net, it means total total profit doon na sa buong period or doon sa production natin.